How are we doing? Guess what I found on my old laptop? Very lucky I got this actually, because I was out in Manchester not long ago and someone robbed my iPhone and I completely lost 15 years worth of videos and images. And somehow, luckily I made a backup of this video and it was my experience, my first ever experience on a movie set. I was so green. I'm still relatively new to acting, I'll be honest with you right now. I've only been doing it just over three years. Nevertheless, it is actually quite funny watching my thoughts about being on my first ever movie set. So I thought I'd share them with you. So basically the stage is this. I'd just been hired to do a film. This was about six, six months after I started acting. I got hired to do a film called Monsters of War. And I had a few scenes in it. And then a few days before, I think a few days before the film, the producer said, would you like to be in another film that's been filmed at very, a very similar time? And we'll just chuck you in for a scene. And uh, I was like, yeah, definitely. So straight away I had two credits, uh, two movie credits. And uh, yeah, I've not seen this video for ages until tonight. And I sort of thought, I feel like I'd need to share this because it was my thoughts when I did my first ever film. And it might be useful for someone that's never, just started acting and has never done a movie before. Because some of the things I say on it, just I feel a bit stupid now, I'll be honest with you, I do feel a bit stupid. But it was like a whole new world for me. I'd just gone onto a movie set. I'd done a little bit of the film and I'd gone into my bedroom, which was like this youth hostel. And I had my camera with me and I thought, I've got to film the experience. So, <laughs> yes, it is a bit embarrassing, but anyway, I'll show you it. I'm on set. I had to record this. I had to because it's the first film I've ever been in. And it's, and it's dead important to document it because, I mean, I'll, let's just jump straight into it. The differences between acting lessons and this is unbelievable. Um, and I feel like this experience needs to be passed on for people that are at that stage, you know, just to acting lessons. Because that's really all where I'm at really, but I've just been lucky to, to do two films back to back. Um, let me just say first of all, my god, it's an amazing experience. I've absolutely loved it. My character has already finished filming. They're still filming right now downstairs uh, and around locations round about. But um, it was a two-week shoot and uh, my characters um, and, and, and the producer was right to do this. One, one of my parts was tiny in the first film. The second film I got about eight or nine scenes, which was great. And I love my character that I played, which is an army dude. Um, yeah, and it was just enough, you know, to get the experience. The experience is absolutely massive, like massive. I can't, I can't begin to tell you. For example, um, in the acting schools, I've been to three acting schools. Um, so I've only just started acting recently. Um, and uh, yeah, 95%, maybe higher than that, 90% of the time. They, they put you in pairs, which I understand, but I've come straight into a film where I was talking in a scene with seven people around the table. Do you know what I mean? It's like completely different. Um, these are only little tiny things and any, any actors that have been doing it for years will just think this is normal, but to me, this is like, like massive. Um, the way they did it, and I don't know if all films are done like this, so this was just this director's way of doing it. He'd take a long shot at first, we'd get everyone in it so everyone reads the lines. They do like um, an action rehearsal. When the director says that, it's um, exactly like just rehearsing it. And as soon as he likes what he's seen, which is which on this set was nearly all the time, it was very fast um, in between takes. I'll give you an example of that. Um, I did do a scene with just one other person in, and it was three takes. The first take was the long shot with us both in. The second one was just on the main star, and the third one was on me. And that was it. You got, I had one close up and that was it. And let me tell you, when they put that camera on me, <laughs> even though I was ready, I was definitely ready to play that part and I knew I could do it. <laughs> I struggled because I drifted in and out of the character. Because I knew it was right in my face and they put this clapperboard right in my face. And I was like, shit, I want to be the therapist. But all of a sudden, I knew I was back in a room. 
but that was my own experience. You know, I, I knew I was, it was in the film and it affected my performance. I know it did. But um, I know the, uh, the editor will obviously make, make me look better than what I am, but which is, which is good. But yeah, I know that affected me. And maybe I'm being a bit hard on myself and, I, I, and everyone here is the same. Like, oh shit, I could have done that better or I wish we could do it again. But I think maybe an actor is their own worst critic. And that's great because that shows how passionate you know everyone is here about it, and it's, uh, it's such such an amazing experience. So I'm going to go back now to that scene where there were seven of us around the table. This is interesting to me. Like the director might say, first positions, right, and that's that's where you start at in the scene, and second position is where you end up. So you could be walking, and you've got a marker on the floor where you've got to stop at, and then you start performing, or maybe you're performing on the way to the marker. These things we didn't do in Action School. In fact, I did it once in one, just one night, I did it at one place. And it, and fair play to them, they did do it, but nowhere else I've done that before until I got here. And these are only little things, I know they are, but... Um, yeah, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, going back to that seven people around the table. When the camera's on you, you know you've got to perform because that's the one chance you're going to get to show your facial expressions and, and perform to your highest quality. Uh, and what was, what was weird for me, what I found really odd is when the camera wasn't on the other characters, they were sometimes whipping out um, a script and just reading off the script. They weren't even performing it, but you knew they were there. So you, you still look in their direction if you were talking to them. But they might be whipping out the phone and reading the lines off the phone. Like, it was... And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, you know, saying, you know, oh. But it, it was, it was, uh, it wasn't what I was expecting. But I sort of understood it. They wanted to make sure the lines were right for you. You know what I mean? Like when the camera's in your face, you, people were losing the lines. They were making mistakes. That's another thing that I thought wouldn't happen for some reason. I thought everyone would be perfect, you know, with the lines. <laughs> Talking about that, there was a scene that I had one line, right? One line where I burst in through the door and say this line. I did it about three times right on the fourth take. I was probably getting into character. We were like proper g ourselves up. We ran into the scene and I said the line wrong. <laughs> but it, but the director used it anyway because he said, oh, it was near enough, right? So I was going to actually say, I'm really sorry, you know, I'm gonna have to do that again. I said it slightly wrong and he's like, no. So, you know, these are like little things. You, I think, um, well, I know I did. I put myself under so much pressure so much pressure to get it, get the lines right. But like when you, I, you come here and you, you work with people that have been in 10 or 15 films and, and it's great because you learn off them. You learn off everyone, oh, it's just amazing. Um, and they're saying that, nah, you know, they're so used to it. So they, they often wouldn't even read until they get the call sheet, which you get on, on this shoot anyway. At the end of each day, you find out what scenes you're going to be playing the next day, what time you call to set, you know, these things. And you might be called at nine o'clock in the morning, you might not be called till three. So what what some of these other actors do, they, they're familiar, you know, they, they look over the script, but they won't learn the line sometimes until about a couple of hours before. You know, whereas I was going, <laughs> the few lines I've had, I've been learning them two weeks ago. Do you know what I mean? Like thinking, oh, sh you know, I need to be prepared, 100% prepared. And that is another thing that threw me off. Uh, the script was changing on the set. I'm not even joking. In my head, I was like, I'm going to do it like this because um, th that's how I think the character is trying to, you know, in the script, I thought this is what the character wants from it. And sometimes I was giving lines. Sometimes lines were getting taken off me Sometimes for, for right reasons as well. It was like the script was developing on the day. Like if you see a location, like, oh, it'd be amazing to film up there. Let's film there. Ah, but we're going to have to change that scene now because of this, the scenery. And the choices were brilliant. They were all, honestly, I'm not even knocking it. They were the right choices. They were great choices. Um, so I'm so excited to see how it comes, you know, how it, it, it comes out. But yeah, that's another thing that threw me. It's great because I was, I, I, towards the end of my scenes, I was chucking in lines and the director was like, yeah, keep that in. Or my co-star, who obviously had much more experience than me, was saying, yeah, that was a good choice. So, yeah, yeah, I think the experience is absolutely massive for any actors that, you know, want to want to pursue the career. I mean, acting school is great, but the first thing I 
realised at acting school that the people I go with are just as you know are talented people, but everyone, including myself, we're, we're all holding back. I know we are. I know we are. Not have come here. The first day I walked through the door and I saw a scene in the in the reception, I was like, oh my god, oh my god. Do you know, it, it, it just hit me like a, you know, like it just smacked me in the face. I was like, shit, we're all not trying hard enough. When we go to acting school, we're all holding back. I know we are. And that is not a knock on acting school. It's just, I don't know what, what it is, but all those people in the acting school that I go with are good, talented people. They need to see this. They need to see it because I think they'll raise their game, you know, when they go back to acting school, they'll hopefully get jobs. Because, it, it, how can I say it? experience it's massive it's massive it's like i guess playing football when you play football with people better than you you improve it's it's going to be the same for acting so yeah just thinking about it. I mean, i'm sure there's so much more stuff i could say but just the most important thing i could say is it's absolutely amazing amazing